I was once taught by a spiritual teacher that it's okay to have a negative emotion as long as we don't act on it. Is that true? Well, based on what I've been saying about negative emotions is of course it's okay to have negative emotions because you're going to have them. If It's all good. It's all God. Everything here on the planet is good. So if you're experiencing it from a place that you recognize it's okay to have negative emotions, but you just don't want to act on them, you're putting an experience out there that you might want to recognize that maybe in the past, every time you had a negative emotion, you would find yourself acting on that. Maybe it caused you to have problems in your life that led to things like addiction or chronic bad relationships or just having um, a defeated experience just when you're about to experience success. If you notice, because your emotions are capturing more of your attention, that again, that your mind brings you into situations to into beliefs that might be patterns and and you that you believe over and over again and then therefore are creating the appearance of your world having these emotions that are negative that you're aware of are really actually valuable to you notice that we don't have to act on any of our emotions good or bad this is our free will the emotions are our guidance system. This is the soul telling us whether we're connected or not. We then have free will. Our free will is only truly free with the capital F if we're acting on the positive emotions and continuing to consistently let ourselves be in that vein. And that just requires relaxation and surrender, letting the divine guide us. When we have a negative emotion, we don't have to act on that, but we don't have to act on the positive emotions either. It's our free will. So our will won't feel free unless we're acting on the positive emotions and cultivating more positive emotions by our thoughts being aligned with the truth of us and relaxing and surrendering and listening to what the soul has to say when it's guiding us. But truly, we, we don't have to act on any thoughts or emotions or beliefs. We have a free will. And, and we will choose whether it creates freedom for us or imprisonment for us based on what voice we're listening to. The voice of the soul, the voice of our own best interest always prompts us towards further freedom and expansion. It knows we're here to create, to create the reality. It, it doesn't exist until we show up creating it and, and expanding it. And that's its job to be ever expansive and, and prodding us towards evolution and expansion and loving that every minute of that because because love expands that's the way it is expressed contraction and and things that are negative will only pull us away from a recognition of our true self and our purpose here so it'll feel flatlined it'll feel like purposeless not very free so the free will is always aligned with at best our soul and allowing us to feel and experience further and further freedom.